se vuelve un par.
How do you say that in German? Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, no mess. I'm a champion. That's what it says. And that's when we transcend product into lifestyle. This is my friend with Raphael with Team Barcelona in 2009. And we're able to develop a relationship with very exciting sports figures. So we created a dynamic that's pretty incredible. How many of you saw the Olympics? Raise your hand high. Raise your hand high. Okay. So the rest of you were at home sleeping. <laughs> the Olympics was a phenomenon. It was a phenomenon not because of just the great athletics that we've been watching for many, many hours. Okay, but with the fact that these athletes use music as part of their hormone. They use music as part of preparing and concentrating. Of course, they got critique for it. But when you see all of these athletes using these headphones and the IOC complaining, wow, ambush marketing. Well, that just came along for the ride. Because the athletes were very authentic about what they did. They didn't apologize for having uh, headphones on. And when we take a look at the effect, worldwide news, lots of PR. Thank you for all the press people who helped with that. And as a result, we became the number one brand in headphones. We became the market share leader as a result of all, all those activities. So how important is sports? Let's give it up. Let's hear it for sports, please. But it's not just about uh, uh, beats as a standalone product. Other folks will get into the game, too. My son, Kevin Lee, took a uh, lesson from the Beats book. You know, having grown up uh, with Beats and Beats marketing, you know, took to the athletes in a very authentic way. Here's Michael Phelps, and if you read uh, about Michael, he says, I use music to concentrate. He's been doing this for years. It wasn't just the Olympics. And every day he came out with a different Soul Republic headphone. And the recognition was just amazing. So let's give it up for Michael Phelps, please. <laughs> but not only that, it's also about uh, music with a dead mouse. Anybody know who dead mouse is? Raise your hand if you know who dead mouse is. Okay. Uh, the rest of you are too old. But that's okay. So dead mouse and uh, with the uh, Soul Republic headphones is another way of using entertainment to help bring recognition, bring aspiration. But if that weren't enough, how about a headphone just for cats? The mommy fence with Dead Mouse's cat. A little special headphone. Well, you should go to the website, check that one out. But it's not just about beats, and not just about Soul Republic. Look at all the people getting into it. And I gotta ask the question. We see many people here, and many people at CES, marketing with athletes, marketing with celebrities, just because you have an artist, does it guarantee success? And I'm here to tell you, there's no guarantees on anything. The integration has to be authentic. The athletes have to feel it. The uh, celebrities have to really love the product. Because if they don't with our product, we don't need them. We don't write a check. It's not advertising. It's not promotion. And so we... See, we've got everybody uh, jumping on the brand right with uh, Ludacris. Usain Bolt. He listens to me. Snoop Dogg with Skull Candy. Derek Rose with Skull Candy. We got Tim McGraw. Uh, we got Marley. And there's a whole host of others. Paul McCartney uh, with JBL and even a Mariah Carey headphone. So, is celebrity important? Say, yes. <laughs> Is celebrity important? Yes. 
Anybody know Jennifer Lopez? Okay, so Jennifer's got her headphone deal. And if we take a look at what Harmon's doing with all of these folks, it's an incredible testament to how effective marketing is with celebrities. And if you look at all of the names that are on uh, all of these headphones, it's just amazing. But I'm going to say that it's not all rosy. You know, these are trial balloons. We're seeing if it works. And these other manufacturers are seeing if this style of marketing works. But authenticity wins. Because the consumer is too smart today. Do you agree? Yes. Nod your head if you're a smart consumer. <laughs> yeah, okay, he's ready to listen. Raise your hand if you're a smart consumer. Okay. Because we don't believe all the advertisements. In fact, advertisement doesn't convince me of anything. Uh, internet uh, advertising doesn't convince me. So the authenticity is extremely important. And so I take a look at somebody like 50 Cent, and 50 Cent is suing his company. Hmm, I don't know how authentic that integration was. So the jury is out on what works and what doesn't work. But we're going to find out this holiday season. This holiday season when all the investments of all of these athletes, all of these celebrities, pay off or not pay off through the consumer recognizing if it's value, if it's real. And so the men from the boys will be decided this holiday season. But I want to introduce somebody very special to you. His name is Mr. X. Revolution, and uh, come on in. The water's good. Peace. All right, give it a 